Hello and welcome to Rose Hill Gardens, one of Australia's greatest race courses, also the home of the Longines Golden Slipper Stakes. And one trainer who certainly knows how to win the big event is Clary Connors. Clary won the race no less than four times, but it certainly didn't come without its fair share of dramas. In 1991, Terse won the big event, but nearly lost the race through a mouthwash. And who could forget Belle de Jour's last to first win in her effort? I sat down with Clary this week to reminisce about his four slipper wins and asked him what it took to have a two-year-old good enough to win the big event. Well, Clary, we're very close to the slipper and that must mean that it uh, brings back an awful lot of memories, good memories for you. Yeah, it does, Steve. Yeah, I've had a bit of luck in it, so some fond memories, yeah. You had four winners in the race. Did they, did they all show some sort of promise early on? Yeah, well, um, Turs always did. Um, he, he, he went in the race terrific form, um, he just he got beat, um, he ran in the silver slip his first start in the race, oh, just a quick story, uh, he ran 8th over Thompson Road him and got off him and he said Mr Turnley, the owner of the horse, he said their horse went very good, them horses have beat him they'll never beat him again. So the owner, he walked away to think for the wrong. When he walked away, the owner said, what does he mean? I said, I think he means the horse gave me a good feel, but he didn't knock him around. Well, his next, uh, people don't realise, his next 13 starts had 11 wins in two seconds. Wow. People just don't realise, he was a good horse. He, and uh, uh, the, the, the two seconds was, uh, he, won, he got beat ahead in the first um, uh, million dollar race they had at Rose Hill. Nitrogen beat him a horse at Denham's. Yep. And then he won before that, and he won after it. And he, and he won in Melbourne, and, then he, and he won second uh, in um, stock stakes over 2,000 metres. Should have won that day. And uh, 48 hours later, he nearly died. He got pneumonia. He was really sick, so uh, he, was a great, he was a really good horse. And of course, the slipper wind didn't come without its dramas, with a, with a mouthwash. Yeah, it? well, that's right. The, the horse used to go a bit hard, and you know, we then bathed his mouth, just, just more and more of the stuff in it. And my father had there for years sitting on the shelf. You know, like like all of us, you use a, a bottle of medicine or tablets, you never finish at all, and just, so that was the story. So, um, wisely, I wasn't, uh, I didn't get tired. I got fined heavily, but I didn't get tired. Oh, I was lucky. Of course, the other drama came in the, in the year 2000 with Belle du Jour and, and, and almost throwing the race away at the start. Yeah, well, that, that's, yeah, when she jumped, she jumped straight up in the air. And, and I've seen the, some photos of it, sideways, from the side, head on and above. When she jumped, she jumped up in the air and naturally sort of pushed Lenny Beasley up off her. And she comes straight down level as she went up. If she had gone to the side, he'd have fell off her. Yeah. But she comes straight down and he's plonked his backside back into the saddle. Yeah, yeah. So he was pretty lucky there. I guess you couldn't have believed your eyes, the run she got in the straight. No, well, I, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw her back there last. And I was, you know, I wasn't real happy naturally. I was swearing and cursing. And, and coming down the straight, you know, when she straightened up, she started to go for a bit of a run. And I said to Maria, to my wife, I said, yeah, this filly's going to run a bit of a race. Look at this, she's sort of coming home nice. And my golly, look, she, she might run a place. <laughs> then bang, she just got there and won. And, and um, I watched the races down the bottom bar I do at, at um, Grand, Grand River at Rose Hill. And without a word of a lie, she went, as soon as she went past the post, there was about a three second silence in the whole bar. Everybody sort of said, ah, uh, did that happen? <laughs> You know, they sort of uh, looked at it, yeah, it was quite, quite it was an eerie, eerie place to be at that time. Yeah, yeah. What is it in the water here at Warwick Farm, Clary? Because of the last ten years, there's been five Golden Slipper winners come from Warwick Farm. Yeah, more, uh, only five, I thought it'd be more than that. Sepoy, Estajad, uh, She Will Rain, Capitalist, Moss Fun, out of the last ten years. Yeah. And that's not counting my four before that. No. If you go no. back further, you get <laughs> yeah, that, better statistics. Well, they're probably the statistics are better, yeah. <laughs> You're right, I don't think, in the water. You know, we, we it's a good place to train horses. It's, more, it's a very relaxed. Um, things have changed a little bit nowadays. There's more horses here. Uh, but, you know, I th you know we, we haven't got the, as I say, it's more relaxed. We haven't got the traffic like they've got at other places. 
Um, no, I don't know. We might have some good trainers here. Don't do that. <laughs> <That's probably laughs> what it is. Yeah. Can you believe the race is worth a net three point five million? Yeah, I wish I was one or two of them now. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, Corey, I hope that uh, twenty twenty brings you your fifth gold and slipper stakes winner. Thanks for spending some time with me. That'll be nice. Yeah, thanks, mate. No problem. Well, they're the thoughts of Clary Connors on his Golden Slipper Stakes wins. But we wish everyone the best of luck, all 16 runners, in this year's Longines Golden Slipper Stakes. Thank <laughs> you.